millions of us do it every day. And with more than 100 million contactless cards in the UK, we are becoming an increasingly cashless society. But this is one tap that makes a serious difference. These vendors are homeless, and each tap on this machine raises £2 for their wages and £1 for a homeless charity. They are working for a company called TAP, which gives a homeless person like Liam the chance to be part of his own solution. This gives me an opportunity to say that I'm being proactive about making a change in my life. Um, there's a, a lot of problems with housing in London um, and if you don't tick a box then there's no requirement for anywhere to help you and rather than sitting on my laurels and going oh woe is me this gives me a chance to make a change. Set up by friends Katie and Polly, TAP stands for Thoughts and Provocations. In exchange for a TAP, a person receives a unique art card. The, the idea behind the card is that we find something uh, either thoughtful or provocative to, um, to illustrate the week's, uh, the week's news. Each week, a London artist's work is featured on the card with a comment about the week's news. The idea is that you have 52 cards, one for each week of the year, um, and if you collect them all, then you have the story of London told through the, the artists that live here. But selling on the streets of London isn't easy, whatever your background. We don't ask for salespeople, we ask for uh, enthusiastic people who want to grow their footprint and turn their lives around, and we teach them the sales skills. But a bad sales day doesn't mean a no-paid day. We pay people an hourly wage, we believe that everyone deserves an hourly wage. So even if the guys aren't performing on a day, there can be so many factors that contribute to a good or bad day, like if it's chucking it down with rain, it's not their fault, we pay them anyway. However, if it is raining, sales don't come to a screeching halt. The art cards are also available to purchase online. TAP currently employs four people, but the women hope to expand that number to 20 by the end of the year. And their message is clear. This is not a handout, this is a helping hand. This is a job, this isn't um, a handout or um, you know, entrepreneurship, this is, this is their job.